we are, what are we doing? Adam and I finally sat down and did, that looks crazy. They said that is exactly what their mucus plug was like, except with a lot of it. Oh God, I do it all the time, I swear. Oh, let's do a bump update before we're done. Hello, my friends, it's Ro, welcome back. We are sitting in a mess, <laughs> that is for sure. Why we have this enormous mess behind me, as well as we're gonna open this free box that we got from Amazon. You guys have been begging me for months since the day I announced I was pregnant to do a registry. People have been hounding me, Adam's mom's been hounding me, and I had been avoiding it and avoiding it and avoiding it because I honestly had no idea what went on there. And then finally we set ourselves to a date. We told Adam's mom we will have it done by Sunday. This was on Saturday, we had some time in the evening. We both just got so distracted. We were exhausted that night, we never did it. We didn't do it Sunday. So Monday he came home from work and I was like, we're doing it. To be honest with you, I just needed him to sit there with me. He didn't even pay a lick of attention. <laughs> and I don't blame him. He had no idea what goes on there. He doesn't really know what babies need. And I just sat, and quickly watched YouTubers videos of what they put on their baby's registries on double speed and I just click, 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 clicked, put the best things that I found on there. I had a girlfriend who sent me, she's such an angel, she sent me the must-haves that were on her list that she used with baby number one, that she planned to use with baby number two. So I had all of that stuff. The only thing that I didn't need to put on my registry was a stroller because my sister-in-law gave me her bugaboo, which I'm so, so excited about. I do need a jogger stroller and I'm going to look at one off of Facebook Marketplace on Sunday. Today is Thursday, so hopefully we get that. I also didn't add a diaper bag because we actually were gifted two of the backpack ones. Everybody tells me the backpack ones are the best and clearly that's a testament because both people that gave them to us our parents. So I heard that the backpack ones are the best because when you have so much going on, you have baby and you have your purse and you have this and that and the other thing. The cute ones that go over your shoulder are gonna fall off, they're kind of bulky, it's just not really very convenient. So here's how I set up my registry. I learned from our wish list back in the day and I do not want anybody to feel obligated to send anything. I actually got a couple of messages from people that were like, I really wanna give you something but I don't have any money. I'm like, please. Please, your support here online is more than enough. The way that I set it up is I put stuff on there from a few dollars all the way up to my crib and my bassinet and my swing and the more expensive stuff. The way that I did everything that was I think $100 or above is that you can contribute to a gift. So let's say you want to give a dollar or two dollars or five dollars towards my baby swing or towards my crib which was already purchased. Thank you to Adam's mom and his aunts. You could do that. You can just contribute. You can contribute to a diaper fund or you can just contribute by watching the video and clicking thumbs up. I'm going to open these all on a baby shower type of video with Adam. We'll do a live. We promised you guys we would do that a long time ago. I think my registry is not expires, but it opens up for me to be able to buy stuff off of there in mid-May. So let me talk to Adam and figure out when we want to do that. Clearly, we've gotten a ton of stuff already. I can't believe how many of my must-haves were sent. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just to the point of tears because, well, hello, hormonal, I'm pregnant. Part of doing the registry, if you do it through Amazon, and I know if you do it through other places, you get a free baby box. So I figured it would be fun to open this together and also explain to you how you get this welcome box. It was hard. You don't just automatically get it for free. So here's what happens. You have to register using Amazon. I forgot to add this. You also have to be a Prime member. I was like, where's this thing? It's saying I'm getting this thing for free. The video I watched was you needed to complete 100% of clicking your items on your registry into categories like furniture or toys or books, that kind of a thing. I think since the video I watched, Amazon kind of upgraded because most of mine were put into categories already for me, but there were a few that you had to go back and check. And then there were a couple I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get them on the list. So the way that you do it now is that you check stuff that you don't even have on there. So let's say baby bottles, this is just me making something up. Then you could just check that even if you have no baby bottles on your registry or a stroller, because I already have a stroller, I don't need a stroller on my registry, so I just check that off. Your list has to be 70% complete in order for you to be able to qualify for this. Not complete bought, complete with the check boxes. 
It's really easy to do once you figure it out and follow these steps. Not that it was difficult, but it was just confusing a little bit. The other thing that needs to happen is you need to have either make or have a $10 purchase off of your registry before you qualify for this. So I was antsy. I went ahead and I bought something personal. I had like nipple cream on there or something like that that I bought and oh, and silicone bibs or something. So I think I spent $20. Adam's like the box wasn't free, <laughs> but it would have been free had I just left my registry up and somebody bought something for at least $10 off of it. Once either you or somebody purchases, then you qualify for this. And then you just go in and you fill out your information and this arrives within a couple of days. So let's see what's in there. We are 26 weeks today, so I believe we're entering our last week of two more weeks or one more week of the second trimester. And then things are about to start getting real. Fun, fun, fun. I'll show you guys my belly before we go. So here's what the cute little bag looks like. I love how it's pink and blue for both boy and girl. And then let's see what fun stuff is in here. Oh, so you get, you guys see, it's Aquaphor sample. Oh my God, you guys, I'm getting emotional. It smells like a baby in here. Mm. You get Huggies special delivery. I think this is probably just one diaper or maybe two diapers. They are our perfect diaper. They're free of parabens, fragrance, and elemental chlorine, our best combination of softness and performance, featuring stylish designs. I don't wanna open that up because I wanna use it. Oh, awesome. You get a sample of Dreft. I was in Target yesterday and I was gonna buy Dreft. It was so expensive there. So I did not, but I do need to get some and start washing the baby's clothes. Interesting. Easy start anti-colic and start pacifier. Ideal for combining with breastfeeding, flat, soft nipple, shaped like mom's nipple during breastfeeding. Oh, that's interesting. Is it a bottle? Reduces air bubbles and colic for a comfortable feeding for both you and your baby. So it is a bottle. I guess it's a bottle and a pacifier. That's cool. I don't want to open any of this stuff because I want to use it and we still have three months before baby. Then we have an Aventi bottle. So this is cool because I hear you don't know what kind of bottles your baby is gonna like. And some people spend a fortune on, let's say, Dr. Brown's bottles, Dr. Brown's bottles, whatever. And then they have to, they, they can't use them. They have to go buy all different bottles. So here's the Aventi, am I saying that right? Avent, Avent, who knows? But it's their natural bottle. And then we have, oh cool. Look at that little guy. We have water wipes. Look at that cute little baby on there. Oh. There's 10 wipes in there. This is awesome for the diaper bag. There's coupons for Gerber formula, Medela Passies. I think Medela is the breast pump that I got. Cetaphil lotion for baby. Oh, and shampoo. And then this says, love your welcome box. Purchase any item in these three steps. Download the Amazon app, scan, purchase. So you can purchase any of these, I guess, full-size items. They're telling you you could do it on the Amazon app. Is it for a discount? I don't know, but it's amazon.com slash welcome box. It says that there's even more benefits there. Oh, grape water. It's attached to this little coupon. By the way, you guys, somebody told me that, you know the glue on these kind of things that hold this together? Or like you'll get them on the back of a credit card when it's glued to a piece of paper inside mail. They said that is exactly what their mucus plug was like, except with a lot of it. Cetaphil baby wash and shampoo. Oh God, I do it all the time, I swear. It smells like grown up. It smells like Dove body wash. Speaking of, there's Dove baby. Oh, it's lotion. This is fragrance free. And then Beach Bum Coconut Balm, plant-based ingredients, vegan hypoallergenic. This is free of all of the philanthanates, mineral oil, gluten-free, paraben-free, pH balance. But what is this for? So it's for dry sensitive skin, I guess for baby or for mom, not sure. This would be good to probably put in the hospital bag, which I know nothing about, but we will find out and then we'll show you guys. So that's that. Baby registry is linked below. Please do not feel obligated, but you guys begged for it, so it's there. I got my results for my blood test and I did have a couple of issues. So I think we'll talk about that in another video because this one's starting to get long. Look out for that. Oh, let's do a bump update before we're done. You can see he's getting bigger. Yesterday I went to the store because I have to go to dinner on Friday night and I was trying to find something to wear So I bought a whole bunch of stuff because you can't try stuff on right now So I bought maternity jeans I am not a fan you guys of maternity jeans this late in the game because in my opinion the under the bump ones look a little weird for me The over the bump ones if you wear something out of it It kind of looks sloppy on me because I'm so short and I'm short and I'm athletic but if you tuck it in, that looks funny. Returned those. I bought a shirt that I returned. I bought a bodysuit I returned. I bought a dress I returned. I bought, what else? 
a pair of shorts that I returned, and then I bought two pairs of pajamas for the hospital. I had to go back and exchange one pair. They were too small, and the other ones were just cut funny. Even the bigger size, I could tell the shorts were gonna be too short, and I got a rope for the hospital. So we're starting to prepare because we're getting closer. The whole point is, what was the point? Pregnancy brain. I promise there was a reason why I'm so low energy based off of the blood results. We'll get to that another time, but what was the point? It's getting really hard to dress them up. So I decided to go with a pair of black maternity jeans that I got when I was first pregnant and they served me well for a while. Even when I could still button my regular jeans, I didn't like the way that the button felt pressed against my belly. So I got those, I wore them for a while, but my legs are starting to grow out of them. My legs smell really bad. I'm just gonna suck it up and wear them. And a tank top I have, just like a black tank top that still fits me. And then a cardigan like this and a pair of heels and call it a day. So I wound up wearing stuff that I had and returning everything else, which good for us. We're saving money. So let's show you guys the bump. He's growing. This is 26 weeks today. Oof, I can't suck it in or anything like that anymore. And I feel his kicks mainly down here. See, this is the black line I've been telling you guys about. Well, it's not black, but the dark line I was telling you guys about. And sometimes I'm starting to feel his kicks up here now, or his movements. I don't know if that's kicks or where his feet are or whatnot, but there it is. 26 weeks, we had a huge lunch, so I'm sure that's adding to it, but he's getting big. Yay, I can't wait for you guys to meet him. And by the way, this is the room that had the gender reveal that I was filming a lot in with the bed, with the blue balloons all over it. That was the spare room. We swapped that out with the office because this will be the nursery because it's closer to our bedroom. The baby will be with us for the first probably half year of his life. But I still wanted a nursery because I want a space that he could call his own. He can call his own. <laughs> he can't call anybody. <laughs> But here's the thing, I shared a room to, <laughs> I'm just laughing that I said that he can call his own, but I just want him to have his own space. I shared a bed, not even just a room, a bed, till I was, I don't know, 11 years old. And then I shared a room until I left for college. And then I shared a room at college because you dorm with people. So I really didn't get my own personal space until I was mid twenties. Not that he's gonna know the difference, but it's also first time mom. That's all I'm gonna say. But he needs a place for his stuff for me to put him when he's old enough to go into his crib. And also, if he's really, really fussy and I'm breastfeeding and Adam, let's say, has an event or something the next day and he really needs to sleep and baby's up all night, at least I can bring him in here where I'm gonna have the, the rocking chair or we have a spare bed where I will keep probably pack and play with the bassinet, I think. That's my plan for now, so that I can lay in that bed. I'm sure that won't happen very often. Adam functions way better without sleep than I do. And I guarantee he will be the first one to jump up when the baby cries at night. He's just so hands-on and so helpful. But there will be times like April 30th this month, he has a huge, huge, huge event that he's been preparing for for a couple weeks. He's gonna need to sleep before that. So times like that. We will of course do a nursery reveal. We're starting to, we're starting to get stuff, uh, stuff off the registry. And then also there was some stuff that I didn't put on the registry because I just feel, I just feel guilty that I ordered some decor stuff. I still need to get a few things like blackout curtains because there's a light at night that shines into this window where adults that were sleeping in here as guests were saying that it was kind of bothersome. So a little baby, it would be bothersome. I might get a little rug to put in here per my sister's suggestion, but I can't wait to show you guys. Adam is doing something really funky with one of the walls for me. I hope he does it. I hope we're still doing it. I saw this YouTube video where the girl's nursery was beautiful. It was all black and white with a black accent wall, very sleek and modern. But Adam, first of all, hated it. And second of all, this is a rented space. So he said, if we paint a wall black, it'll be really, really, really hard to get that black off, like to get it back to the, the color. Let's show you that kind of awful yellowy beige that's already on the walls. And when I asked him about wallpaper, he said that'll get really, really, really expensive. That's why this room is torn apart, taken down, and I'm so excited to show you guys the nursery reveal. I love you guys so much. Promise next time I'll have a lot more energy when we fix the minor medical issues, but I think it's this little guy tricking me into eating something that he wants. More on that later. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you click the bell, make sure you Give me a thumbs up, watch other videos, all the YouTube stuff that I'm too tired to talk about right now. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.